Okay, we are go. Hello, YouTube. I am Grimwit. This is Since a Cyberpunk Ghost Story. We're pretty deep to it, and honestly, I didn't expect this game to go on for so long. <laughs> but that's fine. That's fine. This is definitely, there's a lot of effort that was been put into this. Maybe not a lot of quality assurance, but at least a lot of effort was put into this game. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I might look more into the dev development of this later. All right. Let's jump back in. I get up for a coffee and then this happens. <laughs> get up for a coffee, man. Uh, there's going to be some backtracking involved. I got to go back to the laundry room so I can get that nitric acid for reasons. Anyway. Let's see what else is going on around here. There's there's a thermometer and a city. I guess I need to get a thermometer which requires mercury, which is, might be why the HG80 was listed there. As that is the common denominator between the two. Huh. Fan is still moving. There's also a plastic bottle. Get the plastic bottle. You know you're going to need the plastic bottle at some point. Whoops, I didn't mean to click on you. Okay, well, I'm sure that'll be an issue later. Backtrack, backtrack, fucking backtrack. Gotta do this shit again. Backtrack, backtrack, goddamn backtrack. Over and over and over again. This game sucks, it's really painful, got a sense of deja vu. Hey, good to see you, I remember doing this shit five hours ago. I'm so glad I learned the backtrack song. Still haven't found Suki. You know what? Maybe we could use the acid to burn through a cardboard box. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I need a plastic bottle. I need a plastic bottle which was in that college kid's room that I just ran from. Backtrack, backtrack, fucking backtrack. Gotta do this shit again. Backtrack, backtrack, goddamn backtrack, or and or and or again. This game sucks, it's really painful, got a sense of deja vu. Hey, good to see you, I remember doing this shit five hours ago. Do 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 do.
How you doing, Doomland? Have you have you read any books between the time that I started backtracking and now? Any good books? Short ones? Crime and Punishment? Moby Dick? Oh. Hey, this bottle is perfect for holding nitric acid. Time to go and get the nitric acid. Oh, pig head. Backtrack, backtrack, fucking backtrack. Gotta do this shit again. Backtrack, backtrack, goddamn backtrack. Or and or and or again. <laughs> this game sucks. It's really painful. Got a sense of deja vu. At least it's not draining my stamina as I run just to backtrack. Hey, good to see you. I remember doing this shit five hours ago. <laughs> Well, that's because we have to go... Okay, let me... So, we started in 306 in the top right corner. We have to go to the elevator to get to where we're going next to 302 over on the left side. That takes us to the second floor which we have to go to the elevator on the other side, south of 205 on the right. That takes us to the first floor, and then we gotta go to the laundry room on the south uh, southwest there, on the south, uh, bottom left. Then, since I needed a bottle, I needed to backtrack, round again, make two U shapes to 306, get the bottle, Come back down, and now you know the rest of the story. I have forgotten what I'm doing. I have a plastic bottle. It's dirty, but it's still in good shape. That's right. I'm going to fill it with acid. Oh, shit. I passed by where I need Remember the game Lone Survivor? Yeah, I remember that. I never did finish it, but then I, I watched I, I watched one playthrough out of curiosity because I know it had different endings, and I quickly lost uh, lost interest. This bottle is perfect, and I can use the nitric acid on the lock on the third floor. Yeah. Item added. Nitric acid bottle. HNO3 Time to backtrack again Let's just backtrack Just Yep, third floor Let's run She's gonna be in such good shape after this Yeah, well that makes sense. Lone Survivor took place mostly in, like, apartment buildings. That game was shorter than it had a right to be, because it had the opportunity to do a lot of stuff. I will say Lone Survivor had a lot of uh, potential for inducing dread. That was incredible. And in Lone Survivor, it was really good at making you go, Oh, Jesus Christ, I do not want to continue. <laughs> Nitric acid. Finally. Wait, now I need some active... Active... Yeah. I need something to activate the nitric acid and corrode the steel. Like water. This is super dangerous, by the way. This is super dangerous. Don't do this. 
やったーよしやったー<笑> Now I can get this window open. <laughs> Climb up! Let's see what's going on in this room. We're in、uh, 401 now? Okay, I saw that. Oh, too dark over here. I hear music. It's locked. Of course it is. Elevator is stuck on the third floor. Unless I can find out it's blocking it, I probably won't be able to fix it. Stairwell is still jammed. Sure would be nice to have a consistent way. What the f. What is this? It looks like. hair? Oh, that's,、uh, that's dangerous. That's a lot of hair right there. That's a lot of hair. I like how she's in cutscenes way better than in game. It's because there's no animation of the cutscenes. Four o t h r e e the door is unlocked. An old doctor coat. There seems to be an ID e a card attached to it. Take the ID. Dr. Lai Guakzhong. There looks to be a makeshift magnetic strip attached to the back. Why would he add a second strip? It's a hospital ID. Uh, let's not enter the bedroom yet. Wow, looks like the Shakespeare puzzle. Very clearly missing a book. I bet you I could tell you what that book is. I bet you I don't actually need it. <laughs> could be a code for something in the apartment. Well. Three one six seven two four four. I don't need a book to tell what that says. <sighs> oh god, the sink is full of something. Six stories up? <sighs> no, no, we're on the fourth floor. There's something floating in the gunk. It's going to be important, I just know it. Oh,、well, there's no way of sticking my hand in there. There's got to be some kind of spoon or something around here. What, you mean like a, like a ice cream scoop? I should find something to strain whatever's out there. Maybe something I can use as a hand protection would be good too. Like an ice cream scoop? There's an official note. Whoa, I just saw the mannequin. There's an official notice from Seattle Hope Hospital to all employees. Seattle is where the.、Uh, Where that one girl,、uh, I've already forgotten her name. <laughs> An official notice from the Seattle p u b l i c to all employees. Notice to all surgical staff we will be implementing new security protocols for morgue access on August 27th. Due to the recent theft of the cadavers and cadaver organs, we are asking. That all staff report any and all information they may have regarding these horrific crimes to our security team. Anyone found out to be withholding crucial evidence in these cases will be terminated. My hometown. Someone was stealing bodies from the hospital morgue. That's what happens all the time now, but I didn't think things were so messed up back then. Eh, how can you say? There's nothing like a cold body on a warm night. What? What is this? 
Enter bathroom. Not yet. Of course there's one of these monstrosities. And a spooky skeleton. Oh. A desk full of medical documents and files. The drawers are strange indentations. With there goes there goes a the little bubble on my screen. With an emblem on it. I don't recognize the symbol, but it looks like kanji I'm unfamiliar with. Let's check uh, check the drawer. An odd intention looks almost like a button, but I can't push it with my finger. Probably need some kind of unique key that matches the kanji. I don't know what that kanji means either. All right, take X-ray. It's a bit too dark to see what the X. It's an X-ray of, but I can see that something has been marked with a red pen. What? Is it in my journal instead? Huh. Let me write this code down. X-ray. Seven, four, one, three, four. Five, two, six. And I have outlined seven, one, five. Oh, and two. I need to, here we go, two. How do we get from this apartment to a hospital? It, <laughs> no, we're, we're in a doctor's apartment. A light and an old x-ray board photos attached. I wonder if it still works. Let's give it a shot. It works! The three x-rays put up a number is highlighted, but there's also a space where another x-ray was hung at some point. I wonder if I can find it somewhere around here. Hey! I have one of those! It's the back of a skull. Interesting. There's a match 7 serial code on each of the x-rays, but only four numbers are highlighted. 7152 for this one. What? I, I know. I know. I just wrote it down. Is this a bug? I can't tell anymore. Are they just fucking with me? Alright, let's go to the bathroom. Bathroom. No odd smell. It might be able to find something useful inside. Well, that wasn't creepy at all. I think he's been working from his apartment freelance doctor. Give you a new kidney for 20 bucks. Kidneys are worth more than that. Sink looks incredibly clean despite years of decay. Oh, a pair of latex gloves. They appear to be medical grade. Perfect for protection from all kinds of bacteria. I know what to use that on. Uh. It's surprisingly a clean shower, but there's a strong smell of ammonia coming from it. Somebody's been getting rid of the bodies. I'm, I'm sorry, every time she turns, the jiggle physics become very real. Good, good to know. Yeah, obviously people's apartments are full of stuff relating to their occupation. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm an artist and I clearly have paints and pens and paper everywhere, so maybe. There are odd marks all around the front of the, ro the right of the wardrobe. I think this was frequently slid out of the way. You know what, let's not move the wardrobe yet. I still want to look around. Nightstand has some junk on it. The light isn't working. There's also a journal here. Oh, yeah, let's definitely read that. It mostly details the whole daily life as a surgeon. <laughs> Day 43. They still don't know that I have no qualifications to become a surgeon. Somehow I've been able to go 43 days without doing any surgery whatsoever. Wait, wasn't this a click hole adventure? 
though some of the entries are a bit creepy in tone. I'll save this in my PDA for later. Later? Nah, man. Nah, May. We're doing this shit now. November 21st, 1975. Hunting today. I don't get to do this enough. But the offer from Mr. Yip was too exciting to pass up. He said he will give me all the game I could want, if only I could go after the ones he picks. The man was has fantastic taste. July 13th, 1976. Another one who, another guy who, who waits a long time between putting uh, entries in his journal. Another good trip. This one was quite a big fish. He squirmed a bit much when I hooked him, but the meat was exquisite. October 31st, 1976. I have never felt so completely intoxicated. The chase before the meal must have pumped endorphins directly into the meat. And when mixed with my own... Endorphins? Meat? April 4th, 1977. I solved a little problem for Father Yip, as usual, but this time is special. It was his problem. I know he will love his trophy. April 5th, 1977. Even though one, wa even though one was a secret, two hunts back to back as my heart racing. Tomorrow night, I will share the trophy with Father Yip. I'm sure he won't care that I broke our little rule. Uh, well, a couple of days later, that ungrateful bastard. After everything, all the bodies for two years, he draws the line here. Typical weak coward. This work was my best yet. I took such care of preserving the gift. Oh well, I will hang it with the rest. An example of how great my work can be. The rest of the entries are rather simple, cryptic, and they detail weights and length and have simple phrases like salty and too fatty. Now you know where he gets the kidneys for cheap. Yeah, I guess so. I think we found our dark soul. So let's go ahead and move the wardrobe. A heavy steel door. Could it have bodies in it? It's a pin pad with a card reader. I probably need to sl slide in the ID card to use it. Well, I have that. I uh, figured out the code. Seems to be four numbers. Well, gee, it's got to be uh, 7152. Denied! That wasn't the right code. Huh. I'm, I'm actually dumbfounded. I didn't expect that. Huh. Did we get the cardboard box open? No. No. And we have come across so many different things to open that cardboard box. Okay, it's a long shot, but I may know what the code is. And if this works, I'll explain how I got it. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Uh, three, six, two, four. Denied. Okay, well, it was worth a try. I have rubber gloves. So I guess let's move on because this honestly was the first door that was unlocked. Time to go through the hair. Oh, that collapse nearly destroyed the floor here. It seems that the ceiling above fell out years ago. Looks like the remaining floors boards will support my weight fine though. Oh, maybe not. Oh no!
am dead? Am dead. Oh no. Oh no. Did I save before or after the backtrack song? I just got, just get a cyber head. Yeah, exactly. Oh no. Did I sit? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. How, how bad is it? How bad is it? Okay, okay, I, I have the plastic bottle though, right? No, I don't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's see if I can do something. Let's see if I can convince her. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh god no. <laughs> oh my god, I'm this far? Oh Jesus. Oh, God. So it hasn't been a full hour yet. But this is what I'm going to do for the sake of people who watch YouTube, for the sake of their sanity. I'm going to stop the episode here. But... I'm going to play up for the rest of the night back to the point where we got to the doctor's office. For the stream. Yes. Because, oh my god. Oh man. Okay. Also, I just need to step away for a second. <sighs> we'll be right back. <laughs> yes, meet by YouTubers. Oh my god. Oh my god.